Welcome back, everyone. This is Night Child 13 coming back at you with another Cell Dweller song. This is called Jericho. Let's get it. Shout out to Isabel Southern for this uh, lyrics video. Now, the one thing, uh, another thing I love about Clayton is he is always using, um, use, in most of the songs that I've heard uh, from him, he likes to use a lot of vocal effects. And in this case, he is using uh, either a some kind of vocal uh vocal effects processor or he's using uh, a uh, a, a vocoder. Either way, really, really fucking cool. Let's continue. And uh, once again, shout out to Isabel Southern. Um, don't know if the uh, if that channel exists or or not but uh this video so far is absolutely fucking wicked badass so thank you let's continue it's down you go when you walls fall like jericho And then we got, we got a, uh, let's see, we got, it sounds like a, uh, an electronic dance, electronic dance beat going on mixed with, um, they sound like distorted, uh, lowered octave guitars. But that may not be what they are. But that's what they sound like to me. But I could be incorrect. But either way, really, really fucking cool. And let's rock this shit. My bad. Though that is a that is a synth. Yeah, those are synth sounds really really fucking rad love the lightning right here this is absolutely gorgeous let's continue Holy fuck. There is just, there's so much to talk about in this, in this song. Um, really, really fucking cool, um, electronic, uh, atmospheric sound going on there. 
Um, yeah, I just, I completely lost all. And the vocal, once again, he's using uh, more vocal effects. Really, really fucking rad. Um, it just, once again, it just, it, it just sucks you right into the story. Very, very fucking cool. Let's go. And then he's got some really strange, atmospheric, almost space-like uh, uh, synth sounds going on. Really fucking cool. Um, he had a little bit of vocal panning uh, with a delay added. Um, you can kind of hear it. It was like he was like when your walls fall like Jericho, and it was. I think it was panned to the right ear. Um, really, really fucking cool. With the, you know, that whispering effect. It just... Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. Let's get it. And then this part is really fucking cool. It's like a, it's building up to almost like a march, almost like a cadence. Really, really fucking cool. And now it's now it's almost uh, orchestrative. Uh, really, really fucking rad, guys. Holy shit! Let's go. And that part right there, it made you, made you almost think you were in a movie, kind of. Really, really fucking awesome. Let's go. Another thing that's really cool and really fucking rad is the fact that the lyrics are super fucking catchy and the flow of the song has a has a general, you know, almost like a almost like an ocean wave. And it just kind of you know, and the and the vocal arrangement that Clayton is choosing to use is, it's just, it's super catchy and it's super engaging. 
really, really fucking cool. Let's rock. All right, really, really fucking rad song. That was Cell Dweller with Jericho. And uh, once again, we're going to take a look at the lyrics. Um, It sounds to me like... uh, it is a slurp it is a person that is um experiencing paranoia meaning that they're they're afraid to let anyone in because they because they feel they feel safe within themselves and so they're pulling they're putting up a defen a wall of defense But they they can't seem to understand that if they don't let anyone in, they can't let themselves out either. And so they're they're having this this individual is having this confliction between yeah I feel it I, I feel safe inside. And no one else can penetrate this wall. But at the same time, I'm trapped inside my own wall of defense because I can't get out. Because I refuse to let that wall down. And for the fear that that they're either going to be hurt or they're going to be taken advantage of or they're going to... They're just... And they're they're also living in this um, in this false reality that they're under the impression that as soon as they let down that wall of defense, someone is going to betray them, someone is going to emotionally hurt them, um, and basically everyone that. Either they associate with or that they're referring to the world in general that as soon as they let that wall down, everyone is going to come and attack them. And that's that's an unfortunate way of of feeling and and living. But it is I would imagine it it does happen but uh I'm I think that's I think that's the message and the reason I say that is because you feel so safe inside the walls you fortified it's down you go when your walls fall like Jericho meaning they feel they feel safe inside with this like I said, this wall of defense that they have created, but the minute, the minute they they tear down that wall, 
they automatically feel that they are going to fall and they're not going to be able to pick themselves back up. They're, they're like, well, if I let my wall of defense down, it's the end of the world for me. And because it's like you build them up, you layer stone on stone, you build them high to keep out your enemies. Your sky grows dark, the earth is trembling, an unhappy ending <clears throat> to your final fantasy. Um, you feel so safe inside, the walls you fortified, supremacy implied, who dares to overthrow. Arrogance justified, it's down you go, when your walls fall like Jericho. We'll all enjoy the show when your walls fall like Jericho. And yeah, I think I think that's to me that is that is the message behind it. Is yeah. I'm just going to stop there because my train of thought just went right out the fucking window. Um, but yeah, that is my uh, lyrical interpretation. And once again, this is Night Child 13 saying good night.